My name is uh, Jesper and I am working as a teacher in close to Copenhagen here in Denmark. I teach math and biology, mostly to uh, upper secondary uh, school. I, uh, at the same time, I'm working as an ingenious uh, national coordinator. As a national coordinator, I make sure that uh, I provide the teachers, the 10 teachers here in Denmark, with the information and the support that they need. Uh, they are the important persons because they are there in front of the, the children and uh, they are doing the practices with the children. And I, my, my, uh, my role could be uh, to support them with whatever they need in, in that way. I think, I think when I have really good days as a teacher is where I see pupils uh, finding beauty in what we're doing in the classroom or outside the classroom, but what we're doing in the school. When they see the meaning of life in school, that's where I get, get really, really happy with what I'm doing. The situation right now of uh, STEM education here in Denmark is, I would say, actually quite good. I think our challenges is to make uh, the STEM education kind of authentic and make the pupils see why do they need to do, uh, why do they need to, to have an interest in, within science and within STEM in general. Um, I believe that they, they find it too theoretical and, and uh, therefore we, we would like to, to have more cooperation with, for example, industries so they can see where does it go afterwards. I think it's important for teachers to cooperate with the industry. Um, we are developing, we are producing pupils to enter society and if teachers, if we do not know what society is, if we don't have a clue about what it is we're using our knowledge for, uh, we are not really authentic in the schools. So if we have that close cooperation with industry, we're going to be authentic. I believe many teachers find it difficult to start a cooperation with, uh, with the industry. I think uh, in Denmark we have uh, a certain place called NTS Center and they have many uh, good ideas about how to start things up. So it would be for a Danish teacher uh, a good idea to, to contact them. Uh, for like a general uh, here in, in Europe to start up a cooperation, I, I believe it can be a bit difficult. But for example, a site, a, a website like Ingenious, as we're doing now, would be a way to start things up. To make a cooperation between school and industry mm -hmm. successful. I think it's important that the teacher and the industry together talks about what's going to happen before uh, and, for example, a visit to the company, what's going to happen during the visit and what's going to happen afterwards. It's so important for the outcome uh, of the pupil uh, that that is settled. And that is the teacher's role to do that because the teacher is the professional.